Just one day before an Alabama man was set to go on trial for the murder of his ex-wife, a shocking new confession turned the case upside down. Carl Harris was charged with murder in 2016, 26 years after the death of his former wife, Tracy. 48 Hours correspondent Maureen Maher spoke with Harris, and she's joining us now to tell us why prosecutors dropped the case the day before the trial. Good to have you, Maureen. So what happened here? So it took them three years of delays and contingencies to try to get this uh, case to trial. And remember, decades before is when the murder actually happened. But the Friday before the Monday is supposed to start, a witness who the ADA wanted to get on the stand but wasn't 100% committed to comes forward, calls the assistant DA and says, I can't get on the stand because you have the wrong man charged with this murder and I know who did it. And she drops this bombshell and then the district attorney has Friday night, Saturday and Sunday to interrogate, question and find this guy, talk to him, the one who the woman says did it, and then see what they can get done if they can get to the actual truth before Monday morning. And it all comes together late Sunday evening, less than 14 hours before, before they're supposed to go to trial. And as you were talking, Maureen, we were looking at some video, including some court documents saying he hit her, he beat her, he stabbed her. Give us some background on this case and Tracy and why her husband was charged in this murder. So Carl and Tracy were very young. We're talking like 19, 20, very early 20s. Uh, she's got a young baby. They'd actually divorced even though they were still living together. Uh, there were many, many witnesses, over a dozen people who said they had saw Carl be incredibly abusive uh, over the years to Tracy. So when she went missing, people said, well, he, he must have been the one. He seemed to be the obvious suspect. But the case languished and then never really had any hard evidence. Years later, their daughter comes back to town and says, hey, who can help me find out what happened to my mother? She'd not really been in touch with her dad through the years. Ozark police reopens the investigation, then they go forward and they charge Carl. But again, not much new had been accumulated in the way of evidence from the original time that the murder took place. It's not until the last minute that this witness comes forward. But even the prosecutor says, we were certain that we had the right guy. And Maureen, that phone call you received from the witness just before, after all of these years, did it seem strange but welcome to finally get some type of answer so close to trial? I think um, I will be tell you how impressed I was with the prosecutors, both the district attorney and the ADA. They were very honest and said, we thought we had our guy. And we really learned, you know, you got to un overturn every single stone. You can't stop looking. You got to keep going to make sure you have the right guy. And I think for the daughter who grew up thinking her father had murdered her mother, uh, you know, to have the truth was um, healing for her. She still has, you know, difficult relationship with him, but it was healing to know that it wasn't her dad who had killed her mom. So what else has she told you about this? I just, like you, you said, I mean, imagine having thought all your life that your father killed your mother. What else is she saying, Maureen? I think because of those allegations of abuse, which she spoke about, Cherish, and we saw some of the documentation of it, you know, for her, of course, it's a relief to know he didn't kill her mother, but she still holds him accountable for that abuse. He mm -hmm. still denies it, despite the dozens of people who've said that he they saw him be abusive. So she is still waiting to have him apologize, to admit to what she believes that he did. But in the meantime, she is a mother and moving forward with her life. Does she think that will happen? Does she think she'll ever get that apology from her father? At this point, no. She had a chance to ask him and speak to him, and um, he still denies it. And so for her, she has said until he decides to come clean with what she believes is the truth, uh, she's not willing to talk to him. And she's also, coincidentally or interestingly, uh, not interested really yet in talking to the woman who kept the secret. The woman who had the keys to all the information has reached out to this child, this grown-up child now, and has said... Um, I'm just not ready to talk to her. How, how could she keep that secret for so long? Wow. All right. Well, I am very intrigued by all of this. Maureen, thank you so much for being here. And you can watch this 48-hour special Saturday night at 9 o'clock on WKRG News 5.